a big debut for a tiny car. The world premiere of the new Smart at Berlin's Temple Drome Event Center drew over 700 journalists from around the world. And once the nifty coupe drove onto the stage, there was no holding back. Everyone wanted a piece of the action. The new Smart is being rolled out in two chassis versions, the two-seater for two and the four-seat for four. The for four once bore little resemblance to its two-seat cousin, but that has now changed. Smart chief designer Kai Zieber says most people would have trouble differentiating between the two cars from the front and back. It's only from the side it's obvious it's an extended for two. But Zieber says it was important to hold on to iconic features so that people recognize it as a real smart right away, even though the proportions might vary. The new generation Smart for Two, part of Germany's Daimler, has an all-new design, most notable in the front. The engineers managed to retain the overall length of its predecessor at 2.69 meters, but the new version is 10 centimeters wider. That means a roomier interior and more leg space, and its tight turning circle under seven meters is hard to beat. For those wanting to take more passengers, the Smart for four is the better option. With a length of 3.49 meters, there's room for four people. And once the seats are folded up, total luggage capacity is 975 liters. And in contrast to its predecessor, the engine is located beneath the rear trunk. For Daimler, it was high time to bring a larger Smart model to market. Smart CEO Annette Winkler says the brand has lots of fans, but many people say they can't buy a Smart because they have children or want to take luggage. So now the company can offer a bigger car. Both models have new features. The Smart comes with a five-speed manual or dual-clutch automatic transmission. And the new version has a three-cylinder engine that puts out 52 kilowatts. Average consumption is 4.1 liters for 100 kilometers. The new Smart, developed together with Daimler partner Renault's Twingo, has struck a chord with car experts. I think it's uh, more comfortable. I like also the situation of about the uh, manual uh, for the manual, no more automatic. German car blogger Bjorn Habegger is impressed too. He says the new models have cleverly retained their smart DNA, but from the rear, the car has a powerful look with a wide stance. French journalist Antoine de la Chapelle is also taken by the new Smart. He says for driving in and around big cities, it's a great compact car. Yeah, no, I, I think it's a bit more grown up than the last one. It's got a bit more character, the face of it. And um, it, with it, it's got bigger wheels at the front, so it could be a, a little bit more sporty. And that's quite interesting. In my country, China, Shanghai, People, I mean, the married people, mom just love smart for them to pick up the kids from a, a school or to go to the market. But sometimes they do have the, the uh, another one more person. So in that case, uh, there were some awkward. But now the problem just got so resolved. It's perfect, and I expect that they come to China as early as possible. Lots of praise at the debut. Expectations are running high for the latest smart cars.